All right, go, 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 go. Oh, oh my God, I got them. I fucking got them. Are you kidding me? I am the wasp god. So I ran this poll on my Twitter recently and I was actually very surprised at the results. I asked you guys what you thought about subtitling or closed captioning on live streams. And I was actually very overwhelmed by how many people thought that this was like relevant or useful or you know, most of you guys said that you ultimately didn't care, but almost nobody said that it was like distracting or that they preferred a stream didn't have it. So overall, the consensus was that either a lot of people enjoy it and they want it in their streams or they don't care. And I, I started using it in some streams afterward and kind of experimenting with it. And this video is going to show you guys how to add captioning kind of like this to your live streams. And the reason for this is because it's gonna add a lot of accessibility. People who maybe aren't able to listen to your stream, like they're busy, they're at work or at school or something like that, and they don't have the chance to use headphones, they can still see exactly what's going on and understand what you're saying. Or of course, people that are hearing impaired. This is huge for people that can't hear very well or at all. This adds a whole new like demographic of people that can watch your streams and enjoy your content now. But before we get too much more into it, I do want to introduce myself if maybe this is your first time on my channel. My name is StormPow and I used to make gameplay videos on my old channel, The StormPow, and I learned quite a bit doing that over there. And nowadays I stream on twitch.tv slash The StormPow and I make videos on this channel teaching you guys how to, you know, make content for yourself and how to make live streams for yourself and how to make them better because I watch a lot of people who make videos on like how to make other videos and how to do live streams but there are a lot of things that they don't cover and I like to cover those topics specifically so anyway if you are enjoying this video and you want to see more please be sure to like the video and subscribe and of course join my live streams feel free to chit chat with me and ask some other stuff I've also got a discord server with a really great community so please feel free to go in there and join the community chit chat with myself and some of my other viewers and learn some more about content creation but anyway let's go ahead and take a look here so first things first we're gonna go ahead and go into our streaming program Program of choice now for me this is Streamlabs OBS but of course if you're using OBS studio or stream elements or even XSplit you can use these same principles pretty much all across the board so fret not but anyway we're gonna go ahead and go in here and have our scene set up now for the purposes of this I'm using like it just a just chatting you know just my webcam but of course if I want to move my webcam up here and have some gameplay underneath that's totally fine you can have whatever kind of scene that you normally use and you can add this wherever you want so we're gonna go ahead and move that back and let's go ahead and jump into our internet browser. So for the purposes of this, I'm using webcaptioner.com. This one is by far the best that I've been able to find. So we just go right here and you simply click start captioning and it starts listening to your microphone and it starts captioning what you're saying in real time. And it's normally pretty accurate and pretty quick. There are a couple of other websites and programs that I found that do similar stuff, but I could never find one that did everything that I needed it to do, like this one over here. So it's very great and I really enjoy it. So we're gonna be using it on here, but if you're able to find something that does this similarly, then I guess you can use the same principles, but honestly, I just recommend using this one. It does absolutely everything that you would need it to do. So anyway, you have all this set up here. Now, when you go to the website, it's gonna look a little bit different. I believe it starts you out with a black background, but I had to grind for this view. So we're gonna have this set up like this, and I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So we are gonna go in here and make an account. Now you don't have to make an account, but I personally chose to do so because it saves your settings. And we're gonna be making some tweaks on here. Otherwise, you have to make these changes every single time. It'll save you a lot of time in the long run to just make an account real quick, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and make some of these changes here. Now, a lot of these are personal choices, like I've set the after two seconds of no audio while captioning to clear the transcript. And what that means is if I go like two seconds without talking, it's gonna wipe everything off the screen. Like that. And the reason why I do that is maybe if there's some dead air on the screen, you know, I want that to go ahead and be gone from the screen. So that way the text isn't showing on the screen, you know, stuff that I said a long time ago or anything like that. Just a personal choice, but that's one that I really recommend. Now, the main thing that we need to do in the settings is we need to go ahead and go to appearance. 
and what we're gonna do in here, you can make changes to the font and everything like that, but we need to make the background color something that's totally different from our text. So for the purposes of this, I just use white text and a plain green background. And that's what I recommend you use, but if your style dictates that you use like a different color text, then just make sure that your background is something that's very, very different from your text color. So if you need to have green text, maybe make sure that your background color is like blue or red or something like that. Now, they've got a background opacity setting, which normally would do exactly what we need it to do, but it doesn't really translate through the streaming program, so it's a little bit strange there. But anyway, make sure that your text background is something completely different from your, um, from your actual text color, and maybe even add a little bit of a shadow. I've added a black shadow with 95 opacity and kind of put it off just a little bit to kind of also, you know, add a little bit of a shadow to it to make it a little bit easier to read. Once you've got the setting exactly how you like it, go ahead and close this out. And then we're gonna wanna go ahead and go in here and go to new window. And this will open it up in a brand new window instead of the tab and we're good to go now. You can even do this if you have one monitor for your streaming. You can minimize the window, do whatever you wanna do. You don't have to keep this open while you're streaming and that's the beauty of it. So let's go ahead and go back into our streaming program right here and let's add the subtitles. So we're gonna go ahead and go to add new source and we're gonna add window capture and let's add that in there and let's go ahead and locate our windowed one. Now, it's very important that you do choose the one that says parentheses windowed on here. Um, if you do that other one, it's gonna capture that whole like uh, Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever. It's gonna catch your whole entire browser, but we wanna just get that. So let's go ahead and add that in here. Pause. So if you just did exactly what I asked you to do and you didn't get the same results, maybe you got like a black screen or something like that for your subtitle window, fret not. We're gonna go ahead and fix that. You may need to go in and turn hardware acceleration off in your streaming program and your web browser. So for that in Streamlabs, we can actually go ahead and search hardware acceleration. And fancy that, it's gonna go ahead and pull up the option for disabling hardware acceleration. Go ahead and make sure that this is checked and you will have to close the program out and open it back up to go ahead and apply those changes. And in your web browser, you're also gonna to need to do the same. Now for Google Chrome, it also has a very handy search feature. So we're gonna go ahead in here and search hardware acceleration, and we're gonna make sure that use hardware acceleration when available is turned off. So if you're using a different web browser or a different streaming program, you may need to Google exactly how to disable hardware acceleration on both of them, but most of them have search functionalities like this and you can locate it like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get back into the video. And as you can see, it's not exactly how we want it just yet. So the first thing that we need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and crop out a lot of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold the Alt key while I drag this down. And let's go ahead and personally, I just like one line of text. So we'll do it kind of like this and we'll drag it towards the very bottom. And usually there's even just a little bit of this white here at the edge and let's just go ahead and also crop that out just so that way it's nice and clean and we've got it set up like this. And now the obvious thing that we wanna do if we want to get rid of that background is we need to add a chroma key filter. So let's go ahead and right click on our window capture and go to filters and we're gonna go ahead and add a chroma key. So let me locate that real quick and there we go. So now, it should go ahead and pick up because we used a very generic green color, but you might wanna make some little tweaks to this, you know, just uh, to make it a little bit smoother. As you can see, the text is just a little bit fuzzy around the edges, so we're gonna add just a little bit of smoothness here. You may need to tweak this based on exactly the color that you used and, you know, your style preferences. So we're gonna play around with this just a little bit. The main thing is, is we don't want any green showing or anything like that, but, I think that looks pretty good for having done just like literally a few clicks, but you can, you know, toy with that and get very meticulous if you want, make it look exactly how you want. And basically we're good to go. As you can see, it's now capturing my captioning and we're good to go. Now you can make some of these changes here to make it your own and everything like that, but this is pretty much it. Your live stream is now so much more accessible to people who otherwise didn't have the opportunity to enjoy your content. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please be sure to like the video and subscribe. If it wasn't helpful, then I don't know, like dislike the video, unsubscribe. I don't know, man. But anyway, 
Uh, thank you so much for tuning into the video. Hope that you guys have a nice day and also be sure to join my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash the storm pow and be sure to follow on there and chit chat with me. Ask me some more questions. Give me some other ideas of some other things that you guys need to know on how to make videos and everything like that. Or join my discord server, or follow me on Twitter and interact with me. You know, I love hearing from you guys and getting ideas and, you know, seeing what it is that you guys have questions on. So anyway, guys, without further ado, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope that you have a nice day and goodbye.